Welcome to Arsenal Studios. This is Learning English with Movies. In this video, we'll be exploring one of the most popular movie franchises of all time, Harry Potter. We will also practice using the past perfect tense. If you are new here, the goal of this channel is to help intermediate English language students practice and improve their English skills by using movies as the main topic. If you like our content, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. The Harry Potter film series is a cultural phenomenon that has captivated audiences worldwide. Based on the book series by J.K. Rowling, the films follow the story of Harry Potter, a young wizard who discovers his magical heritage and attends the Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Heritage refers to the cultural and historical traditions, beliefs, customs, and artifacts that are passed down from generation to generation. The cast includes Daniel Radcliffe as Harry Potter, Emma Watson as Hermione Granger, and Rupert Grint as Ron Weasley, among others. The Harry Potter films were a massive commercial and critical success, earning numerous awards and nominations, including three Academy Awards. The films also explored themes that resonated with audiences of all ages. Resonated means to have a strong and deep impact on someone or to have a particular effect or influence. Friendship, courage, and the power of love were recurring themes throughout the series, and the films handled them with nuance and sensitivity. Nuance refers to a subtle difference or distinction in meaning, expression, or interpretation. The films also tackled darker themes, such as death and loss, which added emotional depth to the story. Tackled means to confront or address a problem or challenge directly and with determination. The first film in the Harry Potter series, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, was released in 2001. Directed by Chris Columbus, the film introduces viewers to the magical world of Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, as well as to the main characters of the series. Witchcraft refers to the practice of magic or sorcery often associated with witches or other supernatural beings. It tells the story of Harry Potter, who discovers he is a wizard and attends Hogwarts, where he learns about his past and confronts the evil Lord Voldemort. The second film in the series, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, was released in 2002. Chamber can refer to a room, especially one used for a specific purpose or function. Once again directed by Chris Columbus, the film follows Harry, Ron, and Hermione as they investigate a mysterious monster that is attacking students at Hogwarts. The film explores the darker side of the wizarding world and introduces new characters, such as Dobby the House Elf and Gilderoy Lockhart, the new defense against the dark arts teacher. An elf is a mythical creature often depicted as a small, mischievous being with pointed ears and magical powers. 2004's Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, the third film in the series, was directed by acclaimed filmmaker Alfonso Cuaron. The film follows Harry and his friends as they contend with the escape of legendary criminal Sirius Black from Azkaban. To contend means to compete or struggle with someone or something, often in a contentious or confrontational manner. It features new characters, such as Professor Lupin and the Dementors, who serve as Azkaban's guards. The film is known for its darker tone and more mature themes. Mike Newell directed the fourth film in the series, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, which was released in 2005. A goblet is a type of drinking glass with a stem and a bowl, often used for wine or other alcoholic beverages. It is typically made of glass or crystal and can be decorated or ornate. In the film, Harry and his friends attend the Triwizard Tournament, a tournament held at Hogwarts between three wizarding schools. The film features the return of Lord Voldemort, as well as the introduction of new characters like as Cedric Diggory and Victor Crumb. 2007's Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, the fifth film in the series, was directed by David Yates. In the film, Harry and his friends organize a covert group called Dumbledore's Army to oppose Dolores Umbridge, the harsh new defense against the dark arts teacher. Covert refers to something that is hidden, secret, or concealed. It also introduces new characters such as Luna Lovegood and expands on the backstory of the series. 
Backstory refers to the details of a character or situation that have happened before the main story or event. Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, the sixth film in the series, was directed by David Yates and was released in 2009. Throughout the film, Harry and his companions learn more about Voldemort's past and future plans. It introduces new characters, including as Horace Slughorn, and delves into the character's intricate connections. To delve means to explore or investigate something deeply and thoroughly. David Yates also directed the seventh and eighth films in the series. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1 was released in 2010. Hallows refers to sacred or holy objects or places, often associated with religious or spiritual traditions. The film is based on the first half of the final book in the series, and it follows Harry, Ron, and Hermione as they flee in quest of the remaining Horcruxes, which are artifacts that contain pieces of Voldemort's soul. To flee means to run away or escape from danger, often quickly and urgently. 2011's Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part II was the final film in the Harry Potter series. The film continued where the previous film left off, with Harry, Ron, and Hermione searching for the remaining Horcruxes in order to finally vanquish Voldemort. To vanquish means to defeat or conquer someone or something completely and decisively. The film depicts an epic fight at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, in which Harry and his companions, together with the teachers and students, must defend the school from Voldemort's armies. The Harry Potter films were able to successfully bring the beloved book series to life while creating a cinematic universe that enthralled fans all over the world. Enthralled means to captivate or fascinate someone, often to the point of being completely absorbed or mesmerized. Before we continue, I would like to invite you to check out our online course at Thinkific. The Learning English with Movies course was designed for intermediate English language students who love movies and filmmaking. You can practice your English reading and listening skills, learn new key vocabulary and grammar, and confirm your comprehension with fun quizzes. The Learning English with Movies Kindle eBook is also available from Amazon. For more information as well as fun and useful tips and recommendations, you can follow us on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. Now, let's practice some useful grammar structures. The past perfect tense. The past perfect tense is a verb tense used to describe an action that was completed before another action in the past. It is formed with the auxiliary verb, had followed by the past participle of the main verb. Example, by the time Harry arrived at Hogwarts, he had already learned many things about the wizarding world. In the context of the Harry Potter films, the past perfect tense is often used to describe events or actions that happened before the current point in the story. For example, before Harry met Ron and Hermione, he had already encountered Voldemort several times. By the time Harry returned to Hogwarts for his second year, he had already learned a great deal about the Chamber of Secrets. After Harry had defeated Voldemort, he finally felt a sense of peace and closure. The past perfect tense is an important tool for writers and speakers to provide background information and establish a timeline of events in a story or conversation. Thanks for watching. Have you seen the Harry Potter films? Which one is your favorite? Do you think they will do more sequels or reboots? Write down your thoughts in the comments below.